Hey there, friends. Welcome back to another episode of My Bible Thoughts. I'm Pastor Rich, and today I want to start you off with a question that might make you pause for a moment. Have you ever felt like the odds were stacked against you? Like everything was falling apart and there was no way out? Well, I want to share a powerful message with you today that will remind you of the unwavering strength and righteousness of God. So grab your coffee, find a cozy spot, and let's dive into the Psalms. Now let me take you on a journey through the words of King David in Psalm 7. Picture this, David, a man after God's own heart, facing unimaginable challenges. He lifts up both hands towards heaven in prayer, pouring out his heart to God. And in that moment, he praises him for two incredible reasons, God's righteousness and his position as the Most High. Can you imagine the weight of those words? David acknowledges that God's righteousness sets him apart from anything or anyone else. And it is this righteousness that empowers him to judge the wicked when they set traps and snares against his people. In the face of adversity, David finds comfort in God's unwavering justice. But here's the beauty of it all. God is not only righteous, but he's also the most high. When the church or anyone faces trouble, he steps in with unmatched strength and power. He is the warrior who awakens and swiftly defeats his enemies with a single stroke. No human can come close to matching his might or his judgment. Now let's dive into the word and experience the passion behind David's promise to God. Listen carefully to these words in Psalm 7 verse 17. He says, I will give thanks to the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Now let me share a powerful story of a faithful servant of God who faced a similar struggle. John Bunyan, the renowned Christian writer and preacher from the 17th century, endured imprisonment for his faith. During his time in jail, he experienced deep darkness and uncertainty. But even during his confinement, Bunyan clung to God's righteousness and the assurance that he was the Most High. Bunyan once said, In times of affliction, we commonly meet with the sweetest experiences of the love of God. Has this been your experience? Bunyan's unwavering faith in God's righteousness and sovereignty sustained him through the darkest times. So how does this Bible verse apply to our lives today? Well, here's a few actionable steps. I think when we feel like any part of our life is on the brink of collapse, we must remember that our confidence should never rest in the schemes or plans of man. Instead, our focus should be on prayer, connecting with the Almighty who is both righteous to judge and powerful enough to equip us. Here are four steps to embrace that power. Number one, seek God's righteousness. Dedicate time to study his word and meditate on his righteousness. Let it become the foundation of your faith. Number two, embrace God's sovereignty. Trust that he is the most high and in no situation is beyond his control. Surrender your worries and fears to him. Next, pray with conviction. Just like David, pour out your heart to God. Express your deepest fears, hopes, and desires. He hears you and cares for you. And finally, stand firm in faith. When trouble arises, resist the temptation to put your confidence in worldly solutions. Instead, lean on God's righteousness and power, knowing that He is the most ultimate source of strength. Let's take a time in prayer together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you for your righteousness and for being the Most High. We thank you for being the source of our strength and refuge. In times of trouble, remind us to turn to you in prayer, knowing that you are our unwavering support. Help us to trust in your righteousness and surrender our worries to your sovereign hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, as we wrap up today's episode, remember this. No matter how dire the circumstances may seem, God's righteousness and power surpass anything we can imagine.
So let's continue to pray fervently, trust wholeheartedly, and spread the message of his unfailing love. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to My Bible Thoughts and share it with others who may need a dose of encouragement. Until next time, stay blessed, stay faithful, and keep those Bible thoughts alive. <music>